Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Sharad Chandra V. In this video, I will be showing you how to solve SIMT supported beam with the two point loads using ANSYS. Let us look into the problem. This is the SIMT supported beam having a span of 3.5 meters and a two point loads of 2 kN and 4 kN at a certain distance. And we have the area. 100 mm into 100 mm. This is the value of breadth and height. The Ings modulus is 210 MPa. Poisons ratio is 0.27. This is the calculation for reaction forces. That is at R at B. The reaction will be R B. After solving this, taking the moment about A. We get the value Rb is equal to 3428.57 Newton and Ra as 2571.43 Newton. We have to get the same result when we solve this problem using ANSYS. This is the shear force values, shear force at B, C, D and A. This is the bending moment values and we we have taken this sign convention load acting upwards is taken as positive and load acting downwards is taken as negative clockwise moment is considered negative counterclockwise moment is considered positive now let us solve this using ANSYS go to mechanical APDL workbench select preferences structural H method OK preprocessor element type Add edit delete, click on add beam to node on 88, click OK, close this, go to material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, give the value 2.1 exponential 5 and Poisson's ratio. 0.27 or 0.3 click ok close this go to sections beam common sections give the breadth value as 100 height as 100 click ok now close this go to modeling create key points in active cs First at 0, 0, 0, click apply. This is the origin. Now the length of the first node is 1000 mm, and second node is 1000 mm plus 2500 mm gives 2500 mm. That is the coordinate of the second node, and for third node, it is 3500 mm. Give these values here. This is first node is at 1000 mm, second node is at 2500 mm, third node is at 3500 mm. Click OK now. Go to lines, lines, straight line from first key point to second key point, from second key point to third key point, third key point to fourth key point. Click OK now. Minimize this. Go to machine, size control, manual size, lines, picked lines, pick all the three lines, click OK and give the element divisions as 50. Click OK now. Go to mesh tool, mesh, select three lines and click OK. All the elements are meshed now. Now apply the load. Go to loads. Define load, apply, structural, displacement, on key point. Here you can observe that at node 1 and node 4, there is a simply supported 
constraint is there so <coughs> select first and fourth node click ok here you should select ux uy uz rotation along x and rotation along y these five constraints should be arrested and rotation along z should be set free and click ok now minimize this go to force on key point on first key point we have the load of minus 2000 newton minus 2000 newton along y direction select fy here and click ok again on the key point 3 a force of minus 4000 is acting change the value to minus 4000 and make sure that fy is selected here and click ok minimize this load is applied now go to solution solve current ls click ok you have to get this tab as solution done close this now go to post processor element table and define table click add scroll this down and select by sequence number in smisc give the value as 3 and click apply again scroll this down select the by sequence number give the value 6 click apply and 16 click apply and 19 click ok now we have to give these values because to get bmd and sfd that is bending moment diagram and shear force diagram now close this go to plot result contour plot line element result 3 and 16 click ok this is the bending moment diagram and again select this line element result and select 6 and 19 it gives shear force diagram if you want to see the reaction forces at first and fourth node go to list result reaction solution all items click ok this is the reaction in two nodes that is 3428 and 2571 compare this with the analytical solution we will get the same result see 3428.6 it is 3428.57 reaction at b and 2571.4 this is 2571.43 newton so the solution is perfect if you want to see the stress you can go to again plot result contour plot element solution stress and scroll this down and select one my stress click ok you will get the stress and if you want to see this in 3d view select isometric view plot control style size and shape display of element on click ok this is the value and if you want to animate this how it is going to deform go to plot control animate deformed shape select deform plus undeformed click ok this is the deformation in 10 steps if you want to see this in only forward direction select forward only here so thank you for watching my video if you have any suggestion please leave the comment please like and share and subscribe my channel thank you